Hello, I'm Joe Pereira, one of the organizers of the effort to recall Mayor Jaisal Correa, and I am urging you to vote yes on the recall question on March 12th. Credibility, honesty, and transparency are all characteristics that the mayor of this city should possess and exhibit. They seem to be missing in this administration, and we deserve better. He is under indictment for 13 federal counts of wire fraud and falsifying tax return. This is a shocking number of charges. Allegations like these do not just happen without due cause and verifiable suspicion. The mayor wants you to believe that these charges were caused by political enemies seeking revenge. That is not how federal investigations work, and none of the people he has blamed this on have the power to cause the FBI to start an investigation that has now gone on for two years. If he was the president of a private company and the same charges were brought, the board of directors would have removed him immediately to save the company from damage. We should be doing the same thing. He has been less than honest with us a number of times and has made some decisions that are not in the best interest of the city. When he was elected, he offered to take a 25% reduction in pay for his first year to fund a new police cruiser. After only four months, he asked for his full pay, and the cruiser never happened. He said he would go without a chief of staff to save money, but he hired an old friend to that position at a higher salary than any previous chief of staff. When he didn't work out, Jaisal simply gave him another job in the city that he wasn't qualified for and replaced him with his former campaign manager at an even higher salary. During the 2017 elections, he was not honest with us about the ongoing federal investigation, denying it several times. He is telling us that he has met and exceeded net school spending, but he hasn't. He still owes the school department $1 million. He is telling us that he has hired more police officers, but the new hires have not kept up with retiring officers, so our police department is still understaffed. He wasted thousands of dollars rebranding the city with the Make It Here campaign, but had all the banners made in Providence. I guess we couldn't make it here. The Streetscapes project on Purchase Street is badly designed and poorly constructed. It is also $750,000 over budget. When he privatized trash collection, we were left holding the bill on our fleet of trucks. Real economic development has all but stopped in the city, but Jaisal is taking credit for things that he has nothing to do with. I could go on, but I hope I have made my point. Fall River deserves better, and that begins by voting yes on the recall on March 12th. Thank you for your time.